everyone, it's Bretta Riches from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about why arch height doesn't matter in terms of injury if you run with a forefoot strike versus if you run with a heel strike because I came across a few studies which found that low arches in particular increases the risk of injury if you are a heel strike runner, but if you are a forefoot runner, arch height is not problematic in terms of injury. Historically, high arches were known to be very rigid and cause injury. Also, low arches were known to be very weak and would allow the foot to have abnormal movements during running. And also, low arches were indicative of poor shock absorption. It turns out it might not matter how high or low your arches are, if you run with a forefoot strike landing, you are better off in terms of running with less impact than you are if you were to run with a heel strike landing. And I came across one study which found that runners with low arches who heel strike have a greater risk of developing back injury compared to heel strike runners with higher arches. And this is interesting because the study also found that higher arches had more protective effects on the body in these heel strike runners. But I also came across another study which found that if you run with a forefoot strike landing, you do not produce greater impact if you have higher arches versus if you have lower arches. So in terms of forefoot running, arch height does not determine impact loading. If you run with a forefoot strike landing, impact is still much lower as compared with running with a heel strike. And I'll talk about the studies right now. So one study compared the effects of arch height on impact variables that affected the lower back. And the runners used in this study were heel strike runners. And the researchers found that the heel strike runners with low arches had greater acceleration rates and impact amplitude on the lower back as compared with the heel strike runners with higher arches. Another study also found, which I'll link the studies below, the study found that heel strike runners with low arches were more susceptible to developing soft tissue injuries as compared with heel strike runners with higher arches. This data basically means that if you're a heel strike runner and if you have low arches, you are at a higher risk of getting injured, especially injuries pertaining to the lower back. Interestingly, a newer study examined the effects of arch height, but they did so in forefoot runners, and they examined the effects of arch height on impact variables and loading rates. And the biggest conclusion in this study was that foot mobility characteristics, not arch height, affected loading, and concluded that low arches or high arches was a non-significant relation to dynamic loading in forefoot strike runners. Therefore, what their findings meant was Arch height is not an indicator of excessive loading in forefoot running. So this is one thing to keep in mind that in terms of forefoot running, if you have high or low arches, this does not mean you're going to produce more loading. So the research is very new in terms of how arch height affects injury or loading patterns in forefoot runners. Most of the research conducted on arch height usually involved heel strike runners and we know that heel strike running produces more impact than forefoot strike running, but nonetheless, it is important to keep in mind that there is data that suggests if you have high or lower arches, you will still run with less loading if you land with a forefoot strike versus if you run with a heel strike landing, and especially if you have low arches, low arches have been attributed to weak foot intrinsic musculature. So there's four muscle groups that support the rising and lowering of the arch and through long-term use of wearing running shoes, what happens is, is that these four muscle groups that control the movement of the arch is weaker, so you tend to have more of a collapsed arch. And there's lots of data that suggests that if you walk barefoot on uneven surfaces, this stimulates the foot's intrinsic musculature to the point where you will start to see somewhat of an increase in arch height. And many anecdotal reports from barefoot runners or barefoot walkers will report that they have seen a significant improvement in their arch height. So that's something to keep in mind if you do suffer from collapsed arches or flat feet. 
you might want to really consider doing a lot of barefoot activity outdoors, particularly on uneven surfaces, because that stimulates all angles of the foot and that will definitely accelerate arch height development. So this is something I just wanted to bring to your attention that if you're worried about, oh, my arches are too high or my arches are too low, am I fit for forefoot running? Well, the recent report suggests that absolutely, if you have low arches, if you run with a forefoot strike, you're, you don't have an increased risk of getting injury versus if you have higher arches. If you land with a forefoot strike, you still, this still doesn't increase your risk of injury as compared where if you were to run with a heel strike. For more tips on forefoot running and then for more information on the dangers of heel strike running, please visit my blog, runforefoot.com, where you will also find tips on barefoot running as well as my reviews and recommendations on barefoot inspired footwear. And for more updates on the research on the biomechanics of running, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for listening and watching and have fun out there on the roads. Bye for now.